At CBF, we know that for you to change your body, you need to change your mind. Exercise and eating healthy is only part of the plan. We care about our members as we care about our family because our members become our family. It is not about competition, but support. It is not about being the strongest or the fastest, but about you defeating your negative self. It is about working together and making the task challenging and have fun. By the end, what matters is not how hard the session was, but that you take control of your mind so you can take control of your body. My name is Sandro Torres, and I'm happy you are part of our family. Welcome to Custom Body Fitness. Okay, everybody, welcome to another video with Sandro at Custom Body Fitness. Today, we're going to be talking about muscle gain, body toning, and how muscle gain contributes to weight loss. Let's begin by answering the first, que the first question I get very often by guys, and also by some women. Uh, some women want to tone their body, some women want to increase their muscle mass in their legs and butt, and butt and some guys of course most guys want to to grow muscle right and I get this question very often about people going to the gym and saying I need to change my diet because I'm not gain, gaining muscle and my the way I think, I think about the whole process and I know what are the failing most likely. And it's not their diet. If people are not toning their body and they're not gaining muscle, usually it's not their diet. It could be a, contribu a contributor, but it's not the diet. So I find it, this out by asking questions. Sometimes when they, when they approach me and, and they say, you know, I need some help. I've been working now very, very consistently for uh, two months and so on and yes I gained some muscle and I feel better and I look better and 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 they told me the whole story but then it seems like I, I go nowhere and I think it's my diet what I need to work on will you be able to help me with my diet because I and and, and then my question is what is it that you want with this diet and they tell me usually I want to increase my muscle mass. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of things before I, I let's, before we can talk about your diet. Let's talk about your cons consistency. You say you work consistency f consistency for two months. Then what? Then I stop once I I I, I start getting my muscle mass and so on. Life gets in the way. I get a little lazy and so on. Once once I get lazy, I don't. I stop going and I said, that's your problem. Your problem is that you're not consistent. Many people think that by going to the gym and lifting weights and they increase a little bit of muscle, it's, it's going to be the end and then, and then they give up. Once they notice that it's not so easy, they're not, they're not ready to push to the next level. So let me explain that a little bit more with details. So this is how it works. When somebody, when somebody who doesn't have the knowledge how to increase mass or mass, what they do, they, they go and exercise and they start lifting some weights. And yes, their body starts changing because they haven't lift, lift some weights in a while. They haven't lift some weights in their whole life. Whatever the reason is, they're going to increase some mass or mass. But then, once they hit that, that's when the difficulty comes. That's when you need to continue progressing and that's when people stop. And of course, everything they gain in those two months, they lose everything again. And then they start over again in a month, two months or three months later, they start over again and it's just like I said, it's starting over again. So now they, they spend another two months exercising and they gain that muscle they lost and then they stop exercising again. 
And then they go back and every single time they go back, they start over, over and over again. So the issue is not the diet. The problem is they're not consistent with the program. For you to be able to gain muscle or to tone your body, you need to be consistent. That's the first thing that you have to keep in mind. Now, when I mean consistent, that's going to be a habit. Uh, it's not going to be something that you're going to do it for two months, three months, or four months. You're going to do this consistently at least three times a week for six months, eight months, a year, without missing a session. And I'm only saying three times a week. You can go four, or depending on your program, you can even go five. Depending on your program, there is programs that work for three days, there is programs that work for four days, there is programs that work for five days. But you have to be consistent. Let's clarify that. What, I mean, what, what that means to be consistent? First of all, consistent in a long period of time, not two months, not three months, not four months. You're going to be consistent for six months. You're going to be consistent for a year. Now, I'm saying six months. I'm saying a year. Then you think you take a week off or you take two weeks off. And then you go back again to be consistent. That doesn't mean that you take a, do you hit the six months or you hit the year. And then you take two months off or you take, you take a year off and then go back again. Because as soon as you stop exercising, it takes 74, 74 hours or around that, 72 hours for you to start losing your muscle mass. Of course, you don't lose everything you already gained, but that's when you start losing your muscle mass. So if you don't work, if you're not working to put in that muscle mass back into your body, you're going to start losing your muscle mass. If in 72 hours you start losing your muscle mass and you lose a small percentage, the next day, day you're going to continue losing and losing and losing and losing. If you're taking a month off, everything that you work for is going to be gone. Remember, you are aging. Aging means that you're losing everything in your body. You're losing your muscle mass. You're using your bone mass. Your density mass. I, um, excuse me. I should say your bone density. That's what I'm trying to say. You start losing your stroke volume. What that means, your stroke volume is the amount of blood. Your heart sends everything every single time it beats. You, with that, you send in nutrients, you send in oxygen, you clean in the waste of your, of your muscles and so on. If you're losing that capacity, that means that it's going to take you longer to do that and it's going to take you longer to recuperate. The only way... To avoid aging as fast is by you exercising. So that's another story. The stroke volume, the bone mass is another story. I'm going to put it on the side because right now we're talking about the muscle, right? So if you, start ex if you stop exercising, everything that you work for in six months, everything that you work for a year, you start losing it. So that's the first thing of being consistent. Consistent means you have to do it for six months, you have to do it for a year, and then take one week off or take two weeks off and go back to your routine to be consistent again for a whole six months or for a whole year. So that's the first way of being consistent. Now the second way of being consistent is within those six months that you're going to exercise. If you're doing it three times a week or the year, that you go and exercise. If you're doing it three times a week, or you're doing it four times a week, or you're doing it five times a week, whatever your routine is, you need to do that every single week. Every single week. Every single week. That's consistency. There is no excuses. And I'm saying this not because I'm trying to motivate you, it's because if you want that muscle mass, you have to pay the price. And paying the price is what I'm telling you that you need to do, not because I say so. It's because the way it works. That's how I do it, because I know it works that way. If you stop being consistent, then you're not going to progress. You're going to get stuck. So, emergencies. Emergencies happens to everybody. I have clients that have, they have relatives died. I have clients that have been sick. I have clients that have other issues, etc. And they're still being consistent. And that's if you want to call that an emergency. That's an emergency. But they don't call that an emergency. They're still exercising. 
they're still doing the routine. In my whole life, I'm going to be completely honest with you, I think I can only remember a couple, a couple of emergencies I had. And that was when one of my dogs got run over by a truck, and when the other one had a back surgery. And if I can think about anything else, when I had my knee surgery, those was emergency that I couldn't go exercise. But I only didn't exercise, for example, my dogs, the day that I have to take them to the veterinarian, the day that I have, the, the day that I have to, I have a, a lot of things to do and that was an emergency. They got in the middle of my day. It's not something that I can tell my dog, oh, you know what? You got run over by a car. You wait for me. I'm going to go exercise. No, that was an emergency. But in my whole life, you have to think about this. I've been exercising almost 20 years. Almost 20 years. And those are the only emergencies that I had. I had so many other things. So many other issues. Economical issues. Relationship issues. Health issues. You can name it. And I still exercise no matter what. Consi consistency means you exercise you three times a week. You four times a week. Or you five times a week. Every week. You find an hour in the morning, you find an hour at night, you find an hour in the middle of the day. It doesn't matter where you find an hour, but you have your routine. We already talked about two ways of being consistency. One, be consistent within six months, one year, take a one week or two weeks off, and then go back to it. The other way to be consistent that is important that you follow is going your days during the week every single week without missing a week. Otherwise, you're going to start losing muscle mass. That's the whole point. Why, that's the whole point why consistency is so important for you to gain the muscle mass. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the next thing that is going to help you. To gain muscle is something that many people don't follow. So there is a lot of myth. I'm going to tell you one of them. If you want to grow muscle, you want to do low repetitions. If you want to increase, if you want to increase your tone, you want to do high repetitions. That's a completely lie. The only way you can tone your body is by you having the muscle. And by you having the muscle is by growing your muscle. If you don't grow your muscle, you can't tone your muscle. And the only way for you to be toned is by having a low percentage of fat. If you see, if you think, or if you see somebody who think it has big muscles and it's not toned, it's not because it has big muscles. It's because it has some muscle and it has some fat on top of those muscles. Therefore, that person so, seems huge and it has a belly and it's, you can see the muscles and so on, but it's not toned. It's not toned because it still have a high percentage of fat. So if that person is, wants to be toned, it needs to gain muscle and it needs to lower his or her percentage of body fat. So that's the first thing about, about lifting weights. Now, also, many of us are lazy. If you're talking about the men's side, many of us are lazy because we want to do one repetition of super heavy weights, ha having a higher risk of injury, and lifting something very heavy once, which is not going to give you results only because we're going to feel macho, ma macho men or because we believe that it's going to give you results. And having one repetition, two, one, one repetition or two repetitions is not going to give you results. It's not even going to increase the, the, the strength unless you do more than that repetition. So that's a myth. Though doing very low repetitions. What is true is that you're going to be in a high risk of getting injured. Doing high repetitions is also another way of being lazy. Because we, want, we don't want to have the pain, the difficulty of lifting something that is challenging. We can do 20, 30 uh, repetitions of cross with 5 pounds, with 10 pounds, with 15 pounds. And that also is not going to give you results. It might help us. I'm not disagreeing. Just like the heavy lifting, doing two repetitions, one, rep one maximum rep, it may help us. But it's not going to give you the results that you're looking for. 
when you start doing hand repetitions, the, the, the muscle fibers that kick in are completely different. For you to actually grow your muscle, you need to work your high twitch muscle fibers and low twitch muscle fibers. The low, touch, the low t- twitch muscle fibers are the uh, aerobic muscle fibers that need oxygen for them to work. So once you start doing high repetitions, those are the only ones that are working and they're not, they're not growing. You're not triggering your, 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 your high twitch muscle fibers. If you want to get the results on your weightlifting, you have to be considered with your reps, your repetitions. And what really works, if you want to get the lowest repetitions, you should go, the, the lowest should be six. That's the lowest. The lowest, the lowest, the lowest. I usually do between eight and 12, but the lowest should be six. And the highest should be 15. No more than 15, because then you're wasting your time. Now, keep in mind, then right now we talk about your repetitions. So you need to do the lowest six, the highest 15. You need to find a program that fits your life and that you feel comfortable with that you need to do from six to 15 repetitions. Another thing about weightlifting is the progressing. Many people think, and I have absolutely nothing with aerobic um, I ro- step aerobics or Zumba or anything like that. I think they're great exercises. I think they help you lose weight. I think they're fun. I think they're exercises. Those exercises are meant for s- different people who are not want to tone their body or gain muscle. Okay? What I'm just comparing this so you make your conclusions. If you think weightlifting is gonna be, it's gonna become like Aerobic steps or Zumba, it will never become that way, that easy. Once you got the steps on Zumba and once you get the steps on aerobic, you can start stepping and you can have your your heart rate going up and down and whatever and you can have fun and you can uh, exercise some and, and, and get some results out of that. That's good. But it comes to the point that your body is going to custom to that. And it's not going to be any, any more, it's not going to be difficult for you anymore. It's not gonna be challenging. Weightlifting doesn't work that way. Weightlifting is challenging every single day you go from day number one to day a hundred and thousand, a hundred and two thousand three hundred and twenty-two day. Every day that you go and exercise, no matter for how long you've been doing it, it's gonna be the same challenge. And let me tell you why. Your, your muscles are accustomed to the resistance that you put in, you put in your muscle into it. And that's the reason why they grow or why they become toned. Let's say you begin crawling to work your biceps, okay? You bring in crawling 10 pounders and you're doing 10 repetitions. If that's your beginning, within two weeks, those 10 pounders, they're gonna get easier. Then you're gonna have to lift 12, 12 pounders. Within three weeks, those 12 pounders are gonna get easier. Then you're gonna have to lift 15 pounders. That's within two months, those 15 pounders are gonna get easier. Then you're gonna have to lift 20 pounders. This, then within three months, four months, those 20 pounders are gonna get easier. Then you're gonna have to lift 25 pounders. So every single time it gets easier if you want to gain muscle, if you want to tone your body, you need to increase your weightlifting. That's why every single time that you come and exercise is a challenge. Now, when you're doing the uh, 25 curls, and now you try to lift what you lift seven months ago, and you go back to your 10 pounders, those 10 pounders are gonna be a piece of cake. So you are stronger. You, are, you have grown some muscle, you have toned some some of your body, your biceps. So yes, it's easier because now you're stronger, but your workout is not easier because you're lifting heavier weight. Does that make sense? So, is, is that's the way it works. So if you're squatting, for example, if you're squatting 50 pounds, 
they become easier then you have to go 60 70 80 90 100 110 120 depending how much tone you want and how much muscle you want to gain because the more weight you lift in the stronger that muscle becomes the bigger the muscle has to become so that's another point for you to increase your muscle mass and tone your body okay now I personally eat a lot of food a lot of food like a lot people do get impressed when they see me eating because they think because I'm a health coach they think I eat very little and the reason why I tell you this is because I have a good amount of, of, of muscle and therefore because I have this good amount of muscle I require a lot more calories than people who doesn't have I see a lot of bodybuilders that use drugs and they're huge, they're animals, I mean they're huge. They eat maybe four times, five times more food than I eat because they have so much muscle. We require more energy and that's how muscle help you to, helps you to lose weight because we require so much energy that this muscle that we have and burns the calories so fast. I eat so much and I've been eating like this for so many years and I don't gain weight. Not only that, my workouts are so intense. Like at least I, I burn at least 800 calories every workout. At least I can even burn more. And the reason is because I also live heavy. I don't, I'm not going to burn the same by rowing 40 pounds and rowing 120 pounds. It's such a different. My body's gonna need a lot more energy when I'm drawing so much weight, when I'm squatting so much weight, compared to a minimum weight. So, if you're lifting weights and if you're doing it the right way, the way I just told you, with the points that you need to do, you need a lot more calories for you to sustain your muscle mass. Now, when we're talking about eating, it's, we're talking about eating a lot, but I never mentioned eat the wrong foods. If you want to know what kind of foods you want, you, you, you should be eating, I recommend you watch a video that I, I made. I, I'm going to try to put it right here. I don't remember the name of the video. I think it's, I think, I think I talk about it on the habits that you need to change to lose weight. If it's not that video, it's another one, but I'm going to put it right here to you, you so you can watch it. But my point out of this is you need to eat a lot of healthy food for you to be able to increase your muscle mass. Because these, these uh, muscles need calories, need vitamins, and they need minerals to transfer uh, to transfer all the energy and protein and so on. There is a lot of chemical reactions going on in our body for us to actually gain muscle. So you need all this food for many reasons. And of course you need protein for the muscle to grow. You need carbohydrates for the muscle to use as an energy. And you need all the nutrients like I said. So it's important for you to eat a lot of food. Um, depending on, on your exercises, depending where you and what level you are. Usually, personally, what I th what I think is your body will tell you how much food you should be eating. If you eat on a schedule, that's why I recommend you watch the video I just mentioned because you need to eat on a schedule. If you're on a schedule and you eat a lot of food on schedule, your body's gonna tell you when to stop and when you're hungry to eat again. We're going to talk about the other point that I just touched a little bit in a moment. I told you my philosophy. And that doesn't mean that you have to think about it. Like I think, you can take your own path. You can do whatever you want, of course. You can, whatever whatever other recommendations people have give you and you want to follow this recommendation, there is absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. I'm just giving you my my philosophy. There is a lot of muscle builders are out there that use drugs. In the season, when they're getting photo shooting, when they get into competition, anything like that, they look amazing, they look ripped and so on. But when they're not competing, many of them, they're going to be fat. 
the, 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 the booking phase. But the reality is they're not putting that effort they're supposed to be putting. Like they're putting it when they are uh, sh when they are in shows and so on. And then they start taking drugs so they can actually lose the fat faster and they can get toner faster. Because they increase the muscle mass way too fast. Personally, what I think, I love to be a person that I'm fit to do whatever I, I want to do. Like running, hiking, biking, uh, lifting heavy things, uh, whatever. I mean, I have the fitness level to do whatever I want to do. Not only that, I want to look good. I want to look good. I want to I wanna be presentable. I want the clothes to fit me right. I want that to happen every day. Not only when I'm in CISO and I'm in off season, I want that to happen in every day. Not only that, I also want to be healthy. I don't want to have any liver problems. I don't want to have any heart problems. I don't want to have any intestine problems and things like that. Therefore, I'm happy doing this naturally. Even though it takes, it takes me so many years to increase my muscle mass because it comes to a point that it's so difficult to increase only a pound. In the beginning, it's easy to increase two, three pounds of muscle. In a month, you can increase it in two months, etc. It's fast to increase it. But it comes to the point after three years when you hit your maximum, when you hit your, your plateau, that it takes so much. We're talking about years to gain only one pound of muscle. But I'm happy with it because I'm only I'm healthier. I look good. I I I I feel young and so on. With drugs, you put in your health and risk, and you put in a lot of other issues in 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 into your body, such as lowering your metabolism such as not, not be able to keep up with the payments of the asteroids because I know they're expensive. I know that because I watch a couple of, the, a couple of the commentaries. I never use them. So, um, And then when you stop taking it, you you come up with all the health issues. Then that's when you start losing your muscle mass and you you start uh, storing more fat and so on. There's a lot of side effects of that. But my point out of this, if... if if you want, if you get desperate and, and, get, and, and trying to get big, there's the steroids. That will give you the results very soon. But personally, I don't think it's worth it. So I don't recommend them. Okay, so now we're going to touch the last point, which is was another point with most people fail. You have to give it time, invest in time, and you have to be patient. That's the key, being patient. You want to take your time doing this. It's not gonna happen overnight. It took me three years to be where I wanted to be, to gain the muscle that I wanted to gain and look the way I wanted to look. After those three years, uh, right now, it's taking the next years it's like maintaining I'm still growing just a little bit it's not a lot even though I still push the way I used to push but like I said you hit a plateau and then it, it comes to the point that it's so difficult to gain some muscle but for you to gain that body that you're looking for it's gonna take you at least three years following the points that I just give you especially being consistent the two ways I told you and then increasing your weight lifting eating healthy And the other thing is, make it a lifestyle. If you make it a lifestyle, you don't have to worry about anything else. It's something that you do every day. It's like anything else that you want. If you want a business, if you want a relationship, if you want to be smart, you have to make it a lifestyle. You don't know things. If you read, if you watch the right documentaries, if you start digging in into research about the things that you want to learn, you start becoming smart, but because you do the research, and that research it takes time, at least half an hour every day of reading or watching something that you want to learn about. With your relationship, it's the same thing. Your wife or your husband, if you're a woman, require time from you. That's why you have a relationship. You have to talk to him or to her 
you have to invest some time, you have to buy him flowers, you have to cook delicious food for him or whatever it is that the habits that you have. For you to have a relationship, it should be a habit. That's why so many people get divorced because they don't keep those habits. And the same thing with a business. A business is not a just creative service where you have a product, product, I sell it, that's it. No. It takes a lot of time to run a business. And a lot of habits that you have to acquire and that you have to learn. Habits that apply in my business. And that's why people follow me because they know I love them in my care and I do special things for them. A special things that other people don't do. That's a habit. I don't do it whatever I feel like it or don't like it. It's a habit. It's the same thing when you lift weight lifting and you muscles. Make it a habit. Put three hours, four hours a week. Go exercise. Put everything of you, even if you feel feel it or don't feel it. Okay? So that's it for today. I hope this video clears up about how to increase your muscle mass, how to tone your body, and how that helps with the weight loss. If you have any comments, you know, put it in the comment. If you have any questions, do the same. Please share this video, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed the content offered here, then I know you will enjoy these books. These are great tools to lead you to successful weight loss, better health, and greater happiness.